Europe than Canada. Uh, so I really uh, just kind of wanted to pay it forward and really honor that duality of, of you know, the, the diaspora. And our model is, is pretty simple. It's painting a different story of, of the Middle East and North Africa and really just encouraging uh, the breaking down of those barriers, uh, uh, you know, through art. Um, I was born basically in an art gallery. My mom's a gallerist and a pretty awesome one, but I'm biased uh, for over 30 years now. Uh, so I work in digital marketing. That's my day job. I decided to leverage the digital, leverage the passion for the arts. And, and that's how uh, Mersoum was born as an online first platform. Uh, we did a few pop-ups and a few, you know, physical activations. As soon as lockdown happened, we really, um, you know, basically um, just sped up that, you know, going online. So we started doing online exhibitions and representing more artists. And um, towards the end of the last year with the, our most recent exhibition, I had the fortune of meeting Gaffa, who actually knows my mom. For, for over 15 years now, I think, uh, from way back in the day. So uh, we clicked instantly and we decided to just keep collaborating. And just the way things progressed with the state of emergency, I'm in Toronto, by the way. So, uh, you know, we've been basically in, in lockdown since October. So just kind of looking at keeping people inspired and keeping things active and keeping us connected to the arts. Uh, so it's, a, it's really an honor to be here. And it's great to be working with Nicholas because this will be the first musical artists that that we we work with so um yeah that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell thank uh -huh. you so much abdallah for sharing our story together and i would love to welcome nicholas now so please nicholas if uh, you please introduce yourself and tell us more about your work and what are what are you going to share with us today sounds great thank you so much for having me my name is nicholas scott i'm a music therapist accredited and also a neurologic music therapist. And I'm just gonna share my screen um, so that we can go into what all that is. So music therapy, how can it support wellness? So let's go to the next slide here. So today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna de be defining what a music therapist is, the process that it takes to become music therapist and also we're going to do a brief demonstration and provide you with some resources to take home so what is music therapy <laughs> music therapy is the purposeful use of music in addressing psychosocial emotional educational communicative motor functioning needs within a therapeutic relationship so in other words as a music therapist, I use music to support individuals and groups with a variety of different needs based on an assessment that I've taken. And then I use my knowledge and expertise to find musical interventions to support them. Now in music therapy, there are two ways that one can go about the intervention part. One is receptive, which is where you use music, you play music to an individual and you kind of see what their response is. A great example of this is, let's say I'm working with an individual who has memory care needs. They um, have a difficult time remembering, maybe they have Alzheimer's. Um, music has been known to trigger memories. So the beauty of that is that maybe I play a familiar song for them and all of a sudden they recall the song and they're starting to converse with me as a therapist, and we're able to have a discussion. So that's one way that music is used receptively. Active music therapy is something that we were going to kind of maybe explore today if, if comfort levels are okay with that. Um, it could also be receptive. But active is where we make music together as a collective. So that could be where people are playing drums together, exploring improvisation, all things of that nature. And I just wanted to also state that as a music therapist in Canada, I'm a part of the Canadian Association of Music Therapy, which is the body that accredits uh, music therapists who have undergone all the training and um, who support us. And actually CAMT is a great place. Later, we're gonna use a link to look that there's a resource there that you can look into just to see, um, oh, sorry, 
if there is another music therapist in your, your area, if you're interested. So how does one become a music therapist? Well, first you need music and psychology credits um, at an undergraduate level. And then what happens is you need to collect 1200 hours or more of direct client contact with at least three different populations. That could be youth, children. So in my, in my experience, I worked with children and youth on the autism spectrum as and then it can also be adults. I worked with stroke rehabilitation and people who have aphasia. Um, so I worked on communication and helping individuals access their ability to speech. And then seniors are uh, another population. Um, and the seniors that I worked with were individuals who had Alzheimer's and dementia and who also were in long-term care facilities. And the main goal there was to provide a better quality of life through providing musical experiences. Now, after all that, after all my schooling, getting all my hours and everything like that, I did have to do a board certification exam, which applied all my knowledge into one place. And I passed. <laughs> so I passed in April of 2020. And now I'm a full fledged music therapist. So let's get into the demonstration. Uh, today, I was thinking that our goal could be to deepen musical relationship and possibly promote community. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a song. And first, before we look at that song, how is everyone feeling at this present moment? If you could, you could either use the chat function or you could just unmute yourself and just, if you, there's a word that comes to mind, just let me know. We would love to hear from you, our friends who are attending with us. How do so you feel? One of our participants is saying that they have mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Sometimes cool. That, can, that can be. Um, feels great, looking forward for more, excited. Perfect. Well, hopefully this music will match your excitement. Um, let's look here. And I don't know if everyone knows this song. Um, it was recommended to me by one of our participants, actually. And I'm going to do the rock version to stimulate us today. <laughs> <laughs> on a, an acoustic guitar. Yes. Um, there we go. Hey, don't write yourself off yet. It's only in your head you feel left out. Or look down on Just try your best Try everything you can And don't worry what they tell themselves When you're away Just take some time Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right they're all the same you know you're doing better on your own so don't buy in live right now yeah just be yourself doesn't matter if you're good enough for someone else so just take some time little girl you're in the middle of the Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right, all right Just take some time, little girl You're in the middle of the ride Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right, all Don't write 
set yourself off yet It's only in your head you feel left out Or look down on Just do your best Yes, just do your best Do everything you can And don't worry about the bitter hearts We're gonna say Oh, it just takes some time Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right, all right Just take some time Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride Everything, everything will be just fine Everything, everything will be all right, all right <laughs> Woo. Okay Awesome Thank you for listening. So if I could actually get your input on this song, um, not necessarily maybe on how I played, <laughs> um, but more so on what stood out to you in that experience. Um, maybe what stood out to you also in the song. So again, you can use the chat function, but if you are com more comfortable, um, it would be lovely to hear your voices. Um, so yes, what stood out to you in the song? And okay, so one of our participants is saying, the lyric that really stood out to me was, little girl, you're in the middle of the ride. Okay, awesome. Um, let's look at that right here. Little girl, you're in the middle of the ride. So in music therapy, what we would do necessarily is we would maybe break that down a bit and just kind of explore why, why that stuck out. But also, if I'm just going to generalize, it kind of makes sense. We all are kind of in the middle of a ride right now, aren't we? <laughs> but can I ask you to go back to our screen like we can see each other? I have yes. a feeling that, um, Kathleen, you, you want to share with us something because you unmuted yourself? Oh, yeah. I just, yes, please. What stood out to me was the, it was the, the speed of the music. It was a little bit frantic at the beginning, so you felt kind of like more upset about things. Mm -hmm same thing all the way through but every time the music changed to like you know quieter or more melodic you're still saying the same things but it gave us a different feeling about what that you know yeah meant interesting how the music will do that right mm -hmm. and this, in um in music therapy we call that an iso principle so it's essentially where we meet someone at where they're at. Maybe initially some people were feeling excited. Some people were feeling mixed feelings, maybe not knowing where they were feeling. And then, so we would use the music to match that and then melodically bring it down to maybe match into a, a, a more relaxed feeling. Yes. I got out of it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's great. The goal worked. <laughs> Any other comments before we just um, look at something else quickly? Linda, yes. Yes, please. Well, I really like the rhythm. I was uh, at the beginning very receptive to this whole music therapy uh, presentation anyway. And I, I enjoy the speed. Uh, I feel uplifted. I, I wanted to sing along. I just don't know the words. Mm. And I kind of, the music that I want to learn so that first thing when I get up in the morning, jump in the shower, that's, that's the song I want to sing right now. Beautiful. Well, what I'll do is that's, that's great. And that's another great way to use music uh, to support you in this time is to find music that makes you feel upbeat, to find music that makes you feel awesome and excited. Um, so that when you're in your shower or you're doing your morning, your routine, you can feel energized. And what I'll do is I'll just, the song was called The Middle. And I think... I have a question um, for you, Nicholas, please, before we continue. Yes. How you keep inspiring yourself while we're in this hard days, like we're in a lockdown, you don't really, you know, have that chance to 
play and I remember when we first met it was in Concordia University and we we're playing and a lot of people and just happened that you start to play the guitar and you know people were there and these days while well, you have to work at home and this is how it's so special today that we're visiting you at your workplace which is your home in the same time can you tell us about how you keep inspiring yourself to keep going and from here you can give others this kind of inspiration like you did with Linda now and with everyone attending this um, event today thank you all that's a great question um, I won't lie it has been a difficult process at times but I'm very lucky in that I do have music I do have the ability to play music and to sing and I find that um, oftentimes I'm using music to try to find where I'm at emotionally. So whether that be through composition or even um, being very strong with um, commitments like this one, like I, I wanted to get events planning because um, for a while there I was feeling unmotivated and then I was like, okay, I have to do something. <laughs> I have to apply my energy in some way. So that's how then I started making my website. I started um, meditating and looking inward and seeing what do I want to share right now. Music therapy was one. And um, I just started applying all those passions and I started doing that. Um, and that's how I've been really staying motivated. Um, yeah. And walks, going on nature walks, because nature definitely provides me a lot of inspiration. <laughs> We're happy that we're here with you and you're inspiring us and we're here for you to as well to give you from our energy and tell you how your music is amazing. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you very much. Do we have any other questions or comments? Okay. Pierre? You're welcome to add the comments or to discuss if you want to. I find the amazing idea of being together in a special event that we can talk together. Uh, it's really special because it's not a video that we press on and see Nicholas playing music. We have the chance now to connect with the artist himself and he's here with us today. So please, whenever you feel like you want to speak with him and ask him questions, get to know more about him, you're welcome. Uh, but if you don't feel like it now, we can continue with the presentation. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yeah, I've certainly found my art to be uh, uh, very much a healing process during this time. Mm -hmm. So it carries me through um, and almost to obsession, which is kind of nice, actually. So it, I work every day at it. Uh, so I, I assume you do too, but uh, it took me a while when COVID had started so to get into it. Um, yeah. But now it's an everyday process and it really helps. So, but I still have bags under my eyes, but that's okay. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> um, I think something that you pointed out too um, is that sometimes to get good at something, we do want to spend time with it every day. But something else that I have really learned this COVID is it's okay if you don't get to your don't get to hone your craft every day it's okay to give yourself permission to rest rest mm -hmm. is so important and in music we hear that in the silence you know before a big crescendo and a piece of music often you'll hear silence or things like that so it's important to get your rest. It's important to recoup so that you have more material to work with when you do end up using your energy next time. Yeah, it's more spaced out, I find. So it's mm -hmm. I'll work every day, but really spaced out kind of slowly. Yeah. So a lot of resting, but yeah, but yeah, but still being productive at the same time. So. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Pierre. No, oh, thank you. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> Do we have anything else before I move on? I just wanted to share some other resources to you today. Um, okay, so let's, I'm going to share my screen again. And perfect. So 
music and soul. So this is my business that I have uh, created this past year, whether it be through music therapy, the intuitive arts, palmistry, or Reiki, music and soul supports connectivity with the self and others through an eclectic approach to well-being and healing. And I'm, there's a lot of words here. There's a lot of different uh, practices that I am a part of. And um, essentially what I wanted to create is a platform and a service that gives you the supports that you need at present. Meaning that if even if the services that I provide um, aren't what you need, maybe you need something else and or there's something extra outside of what I can provide. I love to connect people to what they need as well. So similar to what Yafa is doing here with this platform, networking and connection is a big thing. So also going back to music and soul, um, I also want the services to be accessible, innovative, culturally sensitive, and ethically driven. So I'm just gonna click here this is my website, music-soul.online. It's where you can learn more about, whoop, more about my mission, how my process works, also more about myself, and also all the different services that I provide and where you can get in contact with me. Um, I'm going to put my link, my email in the chat so that you have that. And also, if you're an organization or are thinking of wanting to create a program, I would love to collaborate with you on making a program that's tailor-made and specific to the needs of your community or the individual. And that is pretty much it. I am working towards a podcast as well. It's called Connectivity. It airs every Thursday. Thus far, we're still trying to get back into the rhythm of doing it. <laughs> but as I was saying, I'm being compassionate with my energy levels these days. And um, you can get access to the podcast on um, iTunes or Spotify. So let me just put my email here, musicsoul.connection at gmail.com. If you'd like to get in contact with me, now you have that contact. And we have, wow, we did good on timing today. We have five minutes left in our presentation anything that we would like to do for this next five minutes. We can play a little bit more music or Yafa, if you'd like to talk more, you can too. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, I, I'm talking a lot. Thank you so much. And I had this interviews that I have been doing to, you know, interview with artists all over Canada and all over the world. So I have been talking a lot. And I think this is the time to switch from the idea of the interviewing by sharing more. This is what we need now. So I would love to ask you, please, all of you to unmute yourselves and, um, if you would love to speak with us and tell us uh, what do you feel now after Nicholas shared with you? Do you, are you planning to go for more art in your life? Why art is important now? Um, it's an open discussion and um, you can just share with us how you feel about, and I know that half of us are already practicing art and maybe everyone these days are practicing art. It's healing, important, joyful process. So anyone wants to talk with us about this? With Nicholas? <laughs> hmm. Mindy? Momo? <laughs> <laughs> I think Momo's here with us and Momo's um, one of my friends um, and she's working in the art hive and Momo, um, if, you if you want to share with us, okay, Momo, yes, hi, Momo. Hi, hi, everybody, sorry, I, yeah, I didn't know it was a Zoom, so I'm in the car, so that's why I've been uh, muted and, um, and my uh, camera off. But this is wonderful, uh, Yafa and Nicholas. Thank you. I've been, um, I've been um, 
practicing art since 2016 uh, when I was diagnosed with cancer. And that's when I found out about art therapy and music therapy. And honestly, both of them helped me so much. So I, I just, you know, every time I feel like a little bit down and um, I, I just make art or I listen to music. And uh, Nicholas, that song that you played has been stuck in my head since um, last year, middle of last year. So, wow. uh, but just hearing the words from you, it, it was so, it was so powerful, honestly. And uh, so I just want to thank you. And uh, yeah, art and music, they have getting me through through a lot. So I'm very grateful for that and for this opportunity for people to know about the possibilities and, and, the, and the resources of music and art. I think it's, uh, I think it's very needed. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Momo, for that. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's amazing how each, I've even seen it in the brief time that we've been sharing today, how each person has experienced the music differently. And it's, it's, it's very powerful. And as a music therapist, um, my job in session is to try to accommodate you, but also to support you in that experience. So it's, it's beautiful to hear. Mm -hmm. Where do you live, Nicholas? Montreal? Um, I was in Montreal for study. Now I currently live in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and currently I'm not taking any in-person uh, sessions because of COVID. So everything has been adapted to virtual, which is, yeah, that's a whole discussion in itself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But I find um, that it's been rewarding still. I uh, People are s still able to hear the music and if you, if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was really interesting. I learned something today for sure. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Great. And um, start listening to music more. Yes. Mm. Mm. But I did like that song. It was good. Awesome. Yeah. Um, let me just actually, so the song is called The Middle. Um, Momo, do you mind reminding me of the artist? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the middle by... No, I don't remember now. Okay. I remember uh, uh, there, is, there is a soft version uh, that IKEA was using on their commercials for COVID times. And, uh, and the singer in that soft version uh, is Kina Granis, but it's a cover. But if anybody remembers, and it's a rock version, the original, like the one you played, which was amazing. Thank you, Nicholas. But the, does anybody else remember? Is the middle by? I believe okay. it was Jimmy Eat World, but yeah. Yes. It's a trivia, but I'm- It's Green Day. Okay. Um, the one that I was playing off of was Jimmy Eat World. Yeah. I think that's the rock version, but it I has been so. covered by a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to, again, thank you all for being here and building this connection. And as we said, this is only the beginning. We're willing to continue uh, with lockdown or not. I think we need to connect more and um, to get this, the best out of this situation is building this connection that we can see each other and we can see Nicholas. And Nicholas, you, look, you can see all of us here and, yeah. and you're in the car moment, we still can see and connect with you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Nicholas, for being, um, um, offering uh, having us in your place and giving us the time for to explain and to share your art and your healing music thank you so much and this is again uh, only a little bit of what Nicholas can do so please connect with Nicholas and see what he can do build with Nicholas projects and see him and we will always share through my page and through Marsum as well which is the online gallery that Abdallah started already two years ago like he he know he gets to know that we will have a lockdown so already he have this vision to do um, art online which is uh, 
a modern way of connection that we will gain more and more connection all over the world. So thank you, everyone. I'm blessed to get um, to see you all and um, we'll keep in touch. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye for now. Bye.